in my next life when I come back, I want to be someone in the WTA because <laughs> they, they ride on the coattails of the men. They don't make any decision and they're lucky. They're very, very lucky. I, if I was a lady player, I'd go down every, every night on my knees and thank God that a Roger Federer and a Rafa Nadal were born because they've carried the sport. How's this for awkward? Moore was the one handing Williams the runner-up trophy after the match. Serena is among those now speaking out on behalf of female players. Comment, you have to have history and you have to have facts and you have to, to know things and you have to know of, all, of everything. I mean, you look at someone like Billie Jean King who, you know, who opened so many doors for not only women tennis players but women athletes in general. Um, so I feel like you know, that is such a disservice to her and every female, not only a female athlete, but every woman on this planet that has ever tried to stand up for what they believe in and just being proud to be a woman. And you know what is a fact? Serena Williams has the most Grand Slam titles of any current player, male or female. Joining me now is Katie Underwood, associate editor of Chatelaine Magazine, and you're seeing a lot of negative reaction, no surprise there. Yeah, I think that's to be expected. I mean, far and above being very sexist and kind of a train wreck start to finish, um, his comments were pretty factually incorrect. Like you said, Serena's won 21 yes. Grand Slam titles, four Olympic medals. She's got the third highest pocket purse of um, any tennis champion, regardless of gender. Um, so to attribute her success to something like riding the coattails of you know her male counterparts is pretty off the mark. Yeah, just downright wrong. And I know that Chatelaine did a feature last year when Serena Williams was named onto the Sports Illustrated cover, but it wasn't about all the accomplishments you just rang off, which is a long list for Serena. It was more about it's the first female on the cover. Right, and I think the unfortunate thing is when you're talking about athletes or even musicians, it always has to have that qualifier first, right? It's a female musician, it's a female athlete. Um, and I think it was pretty ridiculous last year because people weren't talking about her athletic prowess. They were talking about how unfortunate it was that a triple crown winning horse named American Farrah wasn't sports person of the year. Of course. Which has obvious, it's obviously <laughs> problematic, um, yes. but it kind of just shows you the sexism that is still inherent in sports, even in 2016. And we see it a, a lot of times in tennis, especially we look at someone like Canadian Eugenie Bouchard who was asked to twirl after winning her match instead of asked, you know, how did you overcome, how did you win this match? And those are big problems too, right? This is an issue that lies within tennis greatly. Totally, and I think that it's really unfortunate because you have women who are, you know, world-class class athletes being asked to, you know, give a, give a twirl or being criticized for their appearance in a tennis skirt or how loudly they make noises when they're playing. And these are questions that basically are not ever presented to male athletes. Yeah. Um, very often, you know, there are questions of their, their physicality is brought into question as opposed to something like, you know, their skill, which is sad. Now, with females trying, you're trying to get girls interested in sport, playing mm -hmm. in sport, you want to empower them. How do you get the message out to them? What is the message now that we have to drive home when these kinds of things are still prevalent? Well, I think it's problematic because you have someone who is a high-ranking tennis official saying things like this. So it's not very good for the optics, but I think that, you know, looking to women like Serena Williams or Billie Jean King, who actually won the Battle of the Sexes yes. in 1973. So, you know, women, which was amazing, which was amazing. <laughs> women can be champions. I mean, yeah. I wasn't there to witness it, but yeah. I heard it was great. Um, <laughs> but it just goes to show you that, like, you know, women can be powerhouses in sport and, yeah. you know, irrespective of their gender and their size and their weight and all these things that are talked about so frequently. Are you surprised this is still something we're dealing with in 2016? Um, I mean, yes and no. I think that, you know, ideally, if people think these things, they wouldn't say them out loud yeah. <laughs> on television. But, um, you know, I think this is a good, um, this is a good learning moment for yeah. people and hopefully this can open up conversation around you know sexism in sport and ways to make it better for women in the field absolutely thanks a lot Katie for joining me